The Jetson Boat Pro is one of the most capable electric bikes at $300. It is well made, portable, lightweight, and includes a powerful 350 watt motor. If you are thinking about purchasing a Jetson Boat Pro, or just want to know if you made a good purchase, be sure to check out my video reviewing all of the features of the Boat Pro and how to fix common issues. This video will be linked in the description. Out of the box, the Jetson Boat Pro has a maximum speed of 15.5 miles per hour. Although this is still quite a good speed, many people have been unsatisfied with this speed and performed many modifications to increase its speed and power. Some people have resorted to paying hundreds of dollars for new motors or motor controllers, but there's a little known hack that lets the bike go up to 20 miles per hour and it does not require buying any new components for the bicycle. After looking into the code of the Jetson Bolt Pro, it turns out that the max speed is capped merely through software. So after reprogramming the bicycle, it can easily go 19 or 20 miles per hour on flat terrain, even without pedal power. The great thing about this hack is that once the speed modifier is done, there are no extra parts in the bike and it can be returned to factory settings at any time. After popular demand from my viewers from my last video, I will go over how to perform this hack. For the speed modification, you will need an Arduino board and three breadboard wires. There is no need to spend extra money on a nameboard Arduino board. You can buy this Everglue one that I use and it works perfectly just as well. Some may even say it works better, but it's pretty much the same. Once you have the Arduino board, the first thing you will need to do is to open the bicycle. To open the bike, go to the right side of the Bolt Pro and notice the rubber stoppers covering the screw holes. Using a pin or similarly shaped object, take out all these rubber stoppers. Make sure to keep all these small components a good spot as they are extremely easy to lose. It is also important to note that these rubber stoppers are not identical. In other words, you will need to remember which location each rubber stopper comes from. Some are bigger than others. Although they look very similar, around half the stoppers are in a different shape. Once the rubber stoppers are removed, you can remove all of the screws. Then the side plate of the bike should come off quite easily. Then, you will want to locate four empty pins. These pins were originally meant for a Bluetooth module, as this is the same motor controller as other Jetson models that can connect to smartphones. Unlike most other popular speed hacks, you will not need to purchase two bikes to pull this hack off. What this hack essentially does is use the Arduino board that you purchased to emulate the functions of a Bluetooth module, meaning that we can bypass needing to get a jailbroken version of the Jetson app to change the speed. You will then need to load the code onto your Arduino board, so get your computer and the included USB cable ready. Hey guys, so before you connect your Arduino board to load the code onto your bicycle, you have to load the code onto the Arduino first. Essentially, what you're doing, the Arduino board that you purchased is going to be emulating a Bluetooth controller on the Jetson Boat Pro. This may sound complicated, but don't worry. All of the code is already written out for you. It's gonna be a piece of cake. So if you're already experienced with the Arduino board, you already know what you're doing, you already know how to upload files to it. You can skip to this timestamp I will show on the screen right now because you probably don't need this tutorial. But for the majority of you who have never used an Arduino before, let's get into how to do it. So first, what you're gonna want to do, you want to, gonna want to Google Arduino Create. And you're gonna to want to click on the first link, it's gonna be create.arduino.cc. Open that up, uh, self talk cookies, and you're gonna to want to log in, make an account, or just sign in with Google. I'm just gonna sign in with Google because that's easier. So when you create an Arduino Create account, it will look something like this. Um, you're, you can see I code a lot with my Arduino board. I've been using it for years, so I have a ton of files here. But your file on the left will be pretty empty. So what you're gonna wanna do, you can see there will be this big yellow icon that says to upload a sketch to USB port, blah, 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 blah. So basically, essentially, you're gonna have to download a software so your Arduino board can talk to your browser, which in this case is Chrome. So we're gonna click on learn more, and you're gonna want to install it. You're gonna wanna click on this button, install the agent again. Welcome to the installation, start, download for Windows 32 or 64. It's probably 64 if you have a modern computer. If you don't know the difference, just get 32, I guess. Doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna wanna install it just how you would install any other program. Let's go. You wanna click on next, accept the agreement. No one reads those things anyways. Uh, no, I would recommend using Google Chrome or Firefox. Microsoft Edge though is pretty much just Chrome. It's running on a Chrome engine, so Edge will also work. And you click on finish, and now the computer will be able to install. And if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see the Arduino Create engine is working perfectly. You can click on next, go back to the web editor, which should be here. 
And if that didn't work, you can always just Google Arduino create install client if you don't get that yellow pop-up screen and you can go through here and this is another way that you can install the client so normally it should let you install automatically but if not there's an alternate way around it now the next thing you're going to want to do is to upload the code that i included in the description of this video so you're just going to open up the folder find the jetson speed hack that i know and wait for it to upload now at this point um, I'll explain a little bit about this code. You don't have to worry about any of this. This is not necessary to learn. The only thing you want to know about is the target speed miles per hour. The default one on the Jetson Boat Pro is 15.5 miles per hour. And I would recommend the maximum you can upload it to is 90 miles. If you want to increase it above 90 miles per hour, this can be very dangerous. It can cause some issues with your motor. Actually, it probably won't be that dangerous. It's not going to explode or anything. It just may cause damage to the controller and it may just act weird because 19 miles per hour is pretty much the max you can get out of a 350 watt motor but if you want to increase it above 19 miles per hour just read this thing this is just a safety check to make sure people don't screw things up but yeah 19 miles per hour this is how you change it just change it to whatever speed you want you want to make the max speed 8 miles per hour you can do that too if you have a small kid you want to lower the speed just change it to whatever you want then what you're, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to click on the upload board, but you can't because there's no board. So first what you're gonna do, you're gonna up, you're gonna plug in the Arduino board, plug it in just like that. Lights should show up on the Arduino board. Normally they're green and red or something like that. And on top right corner, it says Arduino Uno has been correct, cor connected. Con corrected, connected. I cannot talk today. But you just click on Arduino Uno right there. Com3, now it says sketch is now linked to Arduino Uno. Once you're done with that, you can click on the upload button go do that and you just wait for it to finish it will say upload started at the bottom corner and it'll take a bit yeah and now it says success done uploading jet and speed hack you are now done uploading to the arduino board this is it you can turn off your computer you don't need your computer anymore unplug your arduino from your computer and yeah that's it for the tutorial the code is now on your arduino board all you have to do is plug that into your bicycle and that should be it once you are done loading the code, you will need to load the code to the bicycle. With your three breadboard wires, you will need to locate the black, gray, and orange wire inside of the Jetson Mode Pro. Make sure to match these up as follows. These wires are left open already, so you do not need to cut or solder any wires. If you think you need to cut to expose some wires, you're probably looking at the wrong wires. Before plugging anything in, disconnect the battery from the Jetson Bolt for safety purposes. You don't want the bike to explode on you. The black wire will connect to the ground pin on the Arduino. The gray wire will connect to the digital 3 pin. And the orange wire will connect to the 5 volt pin. Make sure all these connections are correct as this is crucial. Use your breadboard wires to connect your Jetson Bolt to your Arduino. Then plug in the battery and turn on the bicycle. The headlight will flash twice, indicating that the speed has been modified. If you want, you can press the reset button on the Arduino board one last time before disconnecting everything, just to make sure the code is fully loaded. However, if you see the headlight flash twice, it should have worked already. To finish everything up, turn off the Jetson Bolt, unplug your Arduino board, and close the Bolt Pro the same exact way you opened it. Screw all the screws in and put the rubber stoppers, and the hack has been completed. As I mentioned before, I did another modification that allows me to remove the battery out of the bike. Although I think this is pretty self-explanatory, I can also make a tutorial on how to do this if you guys request it, so leave a comment if you'd like to see that video. In short though, you just buy an extension cable for your battery, you take it out, and you put it on a bike rack. After this hack, the bike is so much more enjoyable. I can go up to 20 and even 21 miles per hour on even flat terrain as you can see through my Strava app. This is really cool, makes the bike really fast, and you can always reset it back to the normal settings. Just in the code, change it from 19 miles per hour to 15.5 miles per hour, and you won't have an issue. If you guys found this hack helpful, please subscribe and like my video, as even a single subscriber brightens my entire day. Make sure to leave any questions in the comments. I can understand that some of these parts can be complicated, such as setting up the Arduino, so I'll be sure to answer every single question you guys answer. Thanks for watching my videos. You know what to do. If you